Good morning, gang. How's it going today? Well, here at the river, in my garden, there's been a lot of rain over the last few days, a lot. The sun's not come out. It's been really overcast, but we knew it was coming. There was a storm coming. It's been hang, you know, people talked about it, and it's just like heavy rain stop, heavy rain stop, heavy rain stop. So after the last bout, the river started to go down. And it went down about over a meter. But now it's right back up again. I mean, there's no danger of flooding here. But it's um, like two days ago, I could tell there was some rain coming because they control this river. So they don't, um, so it doesn't flood in the Utia and Bangkok. So it was moving very fast. They let it out to get it down. And I thought, okay, it's gonna, obviously they're expecting a lot of rain. And boop, here it is, up. But nothing to fear. But everything's looking good. The um, garden's looking great. Let me just show you the birds. They're, um, they're getting really friendly. I don't think they like the camera. But they're getting really friendly. I, um, I put my hand, you know, I made this little door when I made the pen and I um, put their food there now. There, when it rains heavy, it doesn't get wet. And they can sit on it and so on. I've tried different options, but this seems to be the best option. So now, I, it was yesterday, I put my hand in to get the pot. One sat on the pot, one sat on my hand, and one's sitting next to me. So I was like, hey, how am I supposed to get, feed, feed you your food if you... You can see they're disturbed by the camera. They don't like the camera. But normally, they just, if I stand here and watch them, they just ignore me. But there's like 13 or 14 now. Started by six, and there's, some ba there's a lot of babies in the nest. Obviously, they're very content because they're multiplying. Fascinated to watch them. This is the first time I ever had birds, and uh, you know, not in. I don't have birds. Never had birds in the house. Never had an aviary. This is the first one. I just did a little bit of research and uh, built that aviary. But got three pairs of mating. Well, you know, male, female, three times, and then um, let them go. Let them get on with their business. So. I don't know why, I just felt like I wanted to come outside today and have a chat. I guess because it's been wet and rainy for a few days. That noise in the background is the little tractors they use in the rice field to plow the fields. So they're busy plowing and leveling the fields. There's a banana tree, so baby bananas coming up. There's a bigger one over there. I love the way the new leaves come on a banana tree. You see that stalk in the middle that goes all the way up? So it comes up, it grows like a pole, and then when it's all the way up, it unravels like this big guy here. It just un like unfolds like a canopy. And then the bottom ones get beat by the wind, and then they eventually fall down. I trim them a little bit after they start to fall, and just put, put them around the base so that the nutrients from the leaf can rot and go back in. You know, I, I love living here. I've been here, uh, in this place over two years now and I lived about 30 minutes drive for two years from here so all together um, I've lived here over four years now in this area it'll be um, five years in August I think yeah five years in August coming so you know I really enjoy living here sometimes it's a little bit stressful here because, you know, the values that I grew to know and understand, like, be quiet, don't make noise, don't disturb other people, don't throw trash, all that sort of stuff. The things that you learn in your culture, wherever you are. And, um, you know, you can say, well, that's educated, that's advanced, or whatever. You can say whatever it is, but I don't, I don't have a, an opinion. Um, but, you know, I lived here for 18 months before I even had a garbage can. And I, what I used to do is I put everything in little plastic bags and every day I went to the shop to collect something or went somewhere, I'd find a bin to put it in. Didn't have street lights, but then I got street lights and then they blew out and then I got somebody to say, hey, one of the lights are blown. 
And then the guys who come to ask, um, the guy who come to fix the street lights, I said, hey, what about a garbage can? And they said, okay. And then they brought it in the afternoon. I'm like, why didn't you bring it here in the first place? Don't you think I have garbage? But you have to ask for a garbage can. Okay. So anyway, it's it's not expensive. It's like uh, about four pounds a year for for to collect garbage. But anyway, my point is um, not grumbling. My point is um, there's just a lot of things that are different, and all these different things challenge the way you deal with stuff. So if you you know if that's stressful, which it was, you know, but you have to learn to let it go and. And I learned to let it go, but it's very stressful. Then you do your visa, and then the, tr you know, the car needs fixing, and it, then it needs servicing, then it needs inspecting, then it needs a tax, and then all these things stress you out. But right now, everything's done. And um, you know, I finished the truck yesterday. If you looked at my video from yesterday, you'll see the stress I had. Yesterday, I, ha I was sitting in Starbucks waiting for them to call me to fix my truck, and I just like looking at everything as if, hey. That looks a cool picture. That looks a cool picture. So my creativity for photography has gone like through the roof for all of a sudden. Last night I wanted to go to bed and I, I couldn't sleep because I was on my way to bed and see, I have a clock which I put on Instagram and uh, then I started taking pictures. It was two o'clock in the morning by the time I finished taking pictures. Crazy boy. I just got excited and hooked into it. But this morning I'm doing it again. I'm out here. I was, uh, earlier I was... Um, Earlier I was looking at stuff and taking some pictures with my camera, uh, with my phone. I did a video a while back about reasons to be grateful. And I think my, I was just telling somebody this morning, I think life is, life is like a, if you have a hundred piece orchestra and there's a conductor who is controlling or guiding the the musicians so if you look at each musician in the orchestra is like an aspect of your life and the orchestra maybe is your soul your spirit that is like float floating through on this journey trying to figure out what it is you know I always had this feeling that I would live like I do now in the middle of nowhere way off in the countryside alone and that's what I'm doing now so it's Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's a little bit lonely, but most of the time I'm like, wow, to be able to live your dream. Living your dream. So, I'm doing it. And I just wanted to share this, nothing, nothing to talk about, just wanted to share this morning that creativity is definitely up. I, I know, I have to link my Instagram to here so that if you want to um, check out some of my pictures, you can. I, this is what I, aspire to create is where I live paradise but my hobby is still photography making creative videos if I can I just bought that um, the Canon 80D and I have I've taken a few pictures and some video but today I plan on playing with it a little bit more going in the menu setting it up the way I want it to be set up so I can take a you know pictures and video okay guys I think I'm gonna go inside and get a wash and have a coffee and chill a little bit and play with my camera so I hope you guys have a wonder filled day may the spiritual world open a portal that pours love and compassion all over top of you okay that's my wishes for you guys today and can I say something I'd like to say something. I want to thank each and every one of you for whoever watches my stuff. If you've watched one or watched a thousand, thank you for sharing my life and maybe I share some of your stuff sometime when you, uh, when you share stuff. But you know, what is life? Life is a collection of moments which turn into memories, which turn into who you are. So, buckets of blessings guys. Buckets of blessings from my heart to yours, okay? And I just want to leave you with something.